I want to talk a little bit about a concept that has been all the rage ever since our recovery from the pandemic, quiet quitting. And for the first time, I actually participated in it in a very soft way, I want to say. Um, I have no intentions of quitting my job, but I do want to regain some uh, balance of power, if you will. And um, I had some uh, difficulties my first couple of months. See, when I started the job, my idea was that because um, it was uh, only a, a, a stepping stone to better things here in Phoenix, I'll just lick everybody's ass, you know, and uh, please everybody no matter the cost. That was my uh, thoughts when I first started the job. But then I ran into a number of barriers. So um, I see all my colleagues getting to go on their favorite vacation and because I'm solo sexual, eh, that stuff can wait. I, I told my boss three weeks before the, the lunar eclipse that I wanted the day after that off and he actually told me, oh, thank you for giving me so much. No, that's so far away. And then the day of the eclipse, the students had exams and all that and he asked me to come in anyway, even though I would be really tired. He says, that he, in his own words, he said it would be better than nothing. He can't just leave the students hanging. Uh, apparently all of my colleagues are quiet quitting or even just quitting altogether and um, I was the only one available for that. And I went in and I was uh, embarrassed out of my mind, let's say that. I don't think it really helped anybody's cause, but uh, I uh, went in anyway. Now there is something else that was upsetting that I've been kind of holding it in, and this is my first time talking about it. I hope I don't uh, shed a tear talking about it. Now I mentioned early on at my job that here in Arizona, we don't have mandated meal breaks and how I liked it because a lot of times I'm fasting anyway and it, it gets through the day quicker. Well, I, I kind of forgot one problem with that. See, you guys may know that I've recently corrected some eating habits and I don't like to eat when I'm not hungry. I try to make it a rule not to do that. I'll let you pause the video to think what can go wrong if you have a six hour, seven hour shift with no meal break. Well. As you're leaving for work, you might not be hungry, but you can't just think, do I need to eat for now, right? And it forced me to eat a lot when I wasn't hungry. And so sometimes in between the students, we have five, 10, I work at a tutoring center now, in between two students, I'll have five, 10 minutes, and I'm stuffing my face. And I don't really like that because it's not very conducive to recovery from eating disorders. And I was brainstorming, what should I do? On top of all this, my boss sometimes randomly adds extra hours to the end of the day. He thinks he's doing me a, a favor. In reality, if I wasn't prepped for that, I was thinking about all this. Now to top it off, November 7 is Mary Curry's birthday, and I failed this time again, but one of my goals is to fast 84 hours in commemoration of her discovery of chemical element number 84. I didn't make it all the way to 84, but I knew I probably wasn't gonna make it. And I really didn't wanna eat just because I, I had an eight hour shift coming up. And so I decided, screw it. You know, if I have to eat during the students, I, I'm gonna take care of myself first. Without me, the students are not gonna get anywhere. So I brought some uh, frozen foods to the office and uh, heated it in the microwave. And I decided not to shove, stuff my face for 10 minutes like how I did in the past. And I allowed myself to eat in front of the students and because I need to take care of myself. I, if my boss is gonna randomly add hours at the last minute, you know, I gotta look out for myself. And so I, I call it a, a soft, quiet quitting. That's what I was thinking. In my, I'm not going to follow their rules anymore if it doesn't make good sense to my health. To my surprise, I did that. And uh, today my boss actually, uh, he puts up a poster of Teacher of the Week every week. And he, he said quite a number of compliments in there. And I thought for sure I was going to lose my job after almost falling asleep after the lunar eclipse, after eating at my desk, among other minor things like that. I mean, I love the students, but if it's going to get in the way of my healthy goals or my mental health, no way, no way. I'm, I'm, I'm going to soft, quiet, quit if that's the case. And I really, li I, I really liked how it turned things around. I, I, I spent a month and a half licking people's asses and it got nowhere and um, I had to pivot my strategy. And um, already in, in just the first week of pivoting, I've already gotten some great results. Anyways, that was quiet quitting for me. A very soft quiet quitting, I should add. I have no intentions of quitting, but do want to regain some balance of powers.